Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here doing another Gunpla review. In today's episode, we are covering the Jupiter Gundam from Gundam Built Divers Re-Rise. I know I went a little chatting in there with the pausing. But, yeah, so this is one of the, another core armor from, of course, the Re-Rise series. Honestly, for, before I grabbed the cover, I honestly thought this was the Uraven. And then I realized, wait, isn't that the darker colored one? Sinuses, brain fart, ugh, it's a mess. But yeah, this is honestly a really cool looking mobile suit. And I love the fact that the effect parts still look good after all this time. Just sitting there, chilling, looking all cool. And yet, this is another one based off the Core Gundam version 1, which means the waist isn't jank. Yay! So, that's a net positive. What are the other positives? Well, I get, I'll explain more into the episode. But with that being said... Uh, if you want to support the channel, please use the links down below. Anything you can do with the support, buy a model, order a book, you know. Order something from Entertainment Earth, order something from Dr. Toys, you know, whatever you guys want to do. So, let's get into this episode. Okay, as this is a backlog kit, this means I don't have the stickers for it anymore. I know, so sad. But... I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it came with a stand. So if it did, you get the stand. Which is always awesome, because you know how I feel about getting stands with Gunpla. They're always a net positive, even if they're jank. See previous episode. So, your Evan Gundam. As I stated before, this is actually the core Gundam. Not the Mark II, the actual core Gundam, which means not a jank waste. Again, I don't know what they did, what happened between Core Gundam Mark 1 and 2, but it went to jank. So, let's do the articulation. Leg all the way up. Not bad. Leg slash knee bend. Not bad. You get good bend there. That's the splits. Not great, but we have all seen worse. No side skirts. Technically, pseudo paralyzed butt flap because technically this is but it wiggles, but because it's you know detachable because of the whole transformation gimmick from core Gundam to you know this. Let's pop off the weapon real quick. That's the arm all the way up, solid rotation of the arm. Of course, the gaping flaw of all the core armors. Minus the new, fake new Gundam. Weak as hell shoulder armor. This gun attaches via this port here. So just attach it. Ta-da. Very simple. We get 360. That's fairly tight, surprisingly. As you see, it has a gun on both arms. This rotates. So, that's cool. Memory so these are also funnels, so they can fly around, do all that funnel stuff. Yes, this is the same beam rifle from all the other core Gundams, but this is a different barrel for it. See, same gun. <sighs> same gun, same style, you just attach it like that. Now I gotta reattach the hand. Much like a master grade, you just gotta re you gotta attach the fingers. <laughs> Take this. Plug it into here. And yep. Hold on, let's get it in right. <sighs> when your hand slides, when you're trying to put the weapon in, tis a pain. There you go. Hands are on ball joints, so swapping hands. I don't believe there are different hands. I think it's just the holding hands. But yeah. 
there is no real ab crunch, unfortunately. So you do get solid posability out of this dude. And completely solid. It's not falling off on you. Oh, didn't do the feet. Though I have to ask, why do, why do all the core Gundam forms have like little chicken feet? I do not get it. I do not get it. Except for, again, the, the new, fake new Gundam, all the core Gundam's feet kind of look like little chicken legs. I do not get it. I'm not against it. I just don't get it. But all in all, I don't, I actually do like the design. It's a really cool looking mobile suit. Uh, I'm not, a, the build was easy because once again, once you've built one core Gundam, you've built them all. When you've built one core Gundam armor, you've built the planet series a billion times over. It's just very repetitive. My th And I want to say it does come with beam effects. I want to say, but I'm not 100% certain anymore. So, if it does, great. If it doesn't, that sucks. But this isn't... I believe this is a different color variant of the Core Gundam. And not the actual Core Gundam, because I think I have that with it somewhere else. Or I use it in another build. I have no idea at this point. No, I use the one that came with Mars 4 on the somebody else. The Anima went into the fake No. The Titan one, Titan Mark 2 went into the the Beast, my Anima Gundam. Mm, difficult to remember. I think I have him wearing some. I think I'm having him wearing one armor. I don't even remember anymore. That's a future episode and a backlog situation. But I don't have that. We're not dealing with that right now. So, yeah. This is an all in all a very good kit. But I'll get into that when I get into the summary. So, here we go. Okay, summary time. So, will I recommend this kit? Yeah, you know me. I always, almost always recommend a Gundam. Unless it's a raging tire fire. And even then, I would recommend it if you enjoy that kind of stuff. That's just me. This is, again, if you love the core Gundams, you like Gundam Build, build Divers Re-Rise, I would totally recommend it, because these are cool kits. It's a really cool gimmick, it's a really cool weapon system. Again, the flaws are, you really don't get a lot of good articulation out of it. You get a decent one, but not great. That's pretty much my flaw in it. This isn't like it's, it has the waist of a the core Gundam 2, which... When I would tell you, you know, glue, paint, something, thicken this thing up. This now just comes down to taste. If you like the design of the Jupiter Gundam, if you enjoy the concept of the core Gundams, then yes, this is a great kit to get. It has a lot of cool features. I like the, the unique weapons on it. I like the funnels on the shoulders. It's an all in all really cool kit. And again, I enjoy the Planet series, so what are you going to do? Hence, we end up with this suit. That being said, this is all just my personal opinions on it. Everyone has their own tastes. But I do will, will recommend highly to panel line it. This is 99% white. You want the details to pop, you will need to panel line it. Personally, I like it as is, but panel lining would help it. And also, as it being pure white as it is, it will collect dust like a magnet, and so it will look. And this is, by the way, if you still look sussy, this is me post-dusting it. Yeah, that's that bad. If you let it sit for a while. So, yeah, there will be issues. You will have to dust it regularly if you don't want it to be covered in dust. So, that's not great, but it is what happens. So, next week episode... Next week's episodes are... I have no idea. It's either going to be... I got a bunch of models to decide from, like the Saigu Deep Arms, the False Imp the Force Impulse Gundam, the real grade Talgies from Gundam Wing from Endless Waltz, the reg the base form of Unicorn, the EW version of the Wing Zero, the Master Grade Curios. Yeah, I got a bunch of models to decide for next week for a Sunday's episode. And then I gotta figure out Friday uh 
Friday's, uh, Thursday's episode, which I haven't decided will it be another core Gundam or one of my uh, custom builds. I haven't really decided yet. So, that sucks, but what can you do? Uh, so, with that being said, I want to thank everybody for watching. It's so great to get back into my normal routine again. Because that vacation was fun, it got me to relax more, but it's good to go back to my steady routine now. You know, before it drives me mad and consumes me again. But all in all, it's good to be back. You guys are amazing. You guys stuck around, e stuck around even when I disappeared for a while. That is greatly appreciated. I'm going to actively try to get the Gaia Gundam to finish off those three. I gotta get the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. The Black Knight. Sorry, when I heard Knight, my brain went straight to Batman. I don't know why. I gotta get that model eventually. I gotta get those two. I'm trying to get my hands on the Narrator Gundam Verka. When it drops... I can't guarantee I'm going to get it anytime soon, but I'm actively going to try to get it. So, cross your fingers, everybody. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get more master grades and real grades into the rotation. As I now notice, I've been doing a lot of high grades, mostly because they're cheaper and easier to get access to. But, yeah. I want to thank everybody for watching, everyone for sticking with me, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Which will be one of the new Gundams I mentioned, new mobile suits I mentioned. I'll catch you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, links are down below. Hit that bell for notifications so you know when I drop a new episode. Post on the community page, all that important stuff. So, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.